Hello everybody, welcome back to a video on Marvel Future Fight. I am your host, Napalm Dawn, and we're here on g for g Games for Gamers. So, in this video, what I want to talk about is a few things that will hopefully increase your enjoyment of the game, answer a few questions, and deal with a few comments that I've seen about the game recently, and maybe I can help hope you draw some parallels in the game enjoy the game a little bit better understand what you're doing in this game and why so one of the things i want to point out first is that the game as was said in the first video is platform non-specific if you start the game on an ipad and you log it into facebook so that it syncs the data and then you go to work the next day with your android phone a uh, galaxy note a new S6, a new S5 or something. As long as you sign in with the same account and sync it to Facebook, you get the same data. So at work, on a subway, at lunch, you can play on a phone, come home and then play on an iPad. Or load up a Android emulator on your PC like Andy and play it there. Bluestacks, whatever. That's great, because as we know, for our beloved Marvel Avengers Alliance, it was platform-specific. You have the bastard, red-headed stepchild that gets beaten unmercifully, and that's the Android version, which was also the Windows version, but the Windows version got cancelled. You have the Facebook version, you have the iOS version, way back in the day you had the Playdom version. Now you just have Facebook in terms of the web. So you can play this game anywhere, everywhere, any day, all day, whatever you want to do. That's really cool, and honestly, Playdom could have taken a note from that, but Playdom existed, of course, way before this. So, the other thing that I want to point out is that if you have a controller, such as a gamepad or a joystick that you use on your mobile device... You know, like a MOGA controller, one of those iCades for the iOS devices. If you have a Shield tablet or the Shield handheld, you can map out those controls to screen areas and use joysticks and pads to operate this game. Let me tell you, I did that on my Shield tablet. This totally ratcheted up the fun level of this game by 30 or 40 percent it was really made it feel like a really cool wonderful actiony arcade game kind of like a final fight or a double dragon or the old teenage mutant ninja turtles arcade or the old simpsons arcade it really turns it into a side scroller beat em up when you get to do that if you do not have a shield and the UI that a shield provides, you can get an item on the Play Store called TinCore, T-I-N-C-O-R-E. That will allow you to map screen areas to button presses. Just set Marvel Future Fight to do two-touch mode where, you know, on the left is your movement, on the right is all your abilities, including attack. Put it in two-touch mode, drag like the joystick thing over to the left, drag your buttons, on my shield like the left side is my joystick uh attack is one button my two or three abilities are other buttons and a trigger button summons my friend so it yeah it's a lot of fun to play that way so one of the topics that i want to deal with here is everybody's going how do i get heroes i don't understand it am i farming for the hero but i'm not getting the hero i thought i got the hero i saw the icon what what's I'm confused. What's the fucking deal about this? Well, if you have a hero that you want to get in this game, you can go to the store and, and try to get a chest that may contain him or her. Or you can look in this list and say, Ooh, Ultron. I saw the movie. I, I want to play as Ultron. That would be phenomenal. That's awesome, right? If you click him, it'll tell you you can farm for Ultron's biometrics or DNA by doing... Chapter 1, Mission 8, on Elite Mode. So now, let's let's take a look at that. Vision was the same way. I farmed for Vision, I got him, I cashed out, I now have a 1 star Vision in his Age of Ultron uniform, which I bought from the store. You go over here, you go to Mission, you're like, okay, so that was 1, 8, ah, here it is. 
If you click on this, you'll notice he's a boss and he's also a drop. This is not a drop of the hero, it's a drop of the biometric. When you get enough biometrics, you get the hero. Some people said, oh man, that... So I do this mission and I'm not even guaranteed Ultron? Yes. But let's draw some parallels to that. World of Warcraft. It's like saying, so I'm done with the dungeon, I beat the final boss, and I don't get the helmet that I want? I don't get the super rare 1% drop rate mount. By the way, kudos to my girlfriend. This week, got Ashes of Alar out of Tempest Keep. We came out of Tempest Keep, went right over to Karazhan, and I got a Tombman's Reigns. So she got Ashes of Alar. I got a Tombman's Horse back to back within about five minutes of each other. That's luck, but let me tell you how many times we farmed those instances. I farmed Sethic Halls on my Druid for almost three years, sometimes daily to get Anzu. Never got them until one day it dropped. And then they started throwing it in the dungeon sacks. But Okay, Marvel Avengers Alliance. When you do that Deadpool mission there, that elite mission that requires Deadpool, the premium, you're not going to get the flashy gun every time you fight that mission. You have a chance to get the flashy gun, and actually a low chance. Some days, one time is all it takes. Other days, it's not. I've been farming some of the spec ops for hardlock rifle and the high emitter. I don't have it, but I won the 1,000 buckets twice for the ISO, so it's, it's luck. And it's nothing to complain about. If you're going to farm a mission in Marvel Avengers Alliance for an E-ISO, an A-ISO, a weapon, gadgets, running 12-1 or 12-2 for command points so that you can buy somebody, it's no different than running this to get Ultron. Um, some days, out of the three times you can try to farm it, you may get one genetic piece. Maybe you'll get none. It's luck. I mean, if Vegas wasn't luck, Vegas would be broke. So here's the Vision one. As you can see, I can farm this three more times to get Vision's DNA. If you get a hero, you can continue to farm their DNA to get their mastery going. Essentially, that ranks them up. They go from a one star to a two star and three, etc. So, prime example. Let's say I really like Mockingbird. I really want to get Mockingbird. So I will do this mission three times a day and try to get Mockingbird's DNA. If I want Luke Cage, I can do that over here. Another jumping off point from the screen. You can see these red fists and, and blue hands and this universally helixy thing maybe and this blue hand. All right, so what does all that mean? Well, similar to the rock, paper, scissor, or if you're a Big Bang Theory friend, which I kind of watched a little bit, sort of, but not exactly. R rock, paper, lizard, scissors, Spock, kitty, warm kitty, penny, I don't know. Um, if you go here and look at a hero, say I click on my Hulkbuster, which by the way, to get Hulkbuster, you just need to log in and collect your bonus. It starts off at two and it ramps up to four. Log in, I think it's like seven days or something. They give you a Hulkbuster. And honestly, he's a phenomenal hero. I love playing Hulkbuster in this game. So if you see this little hero type over here, you click it and it gives you this neat little triangle. Roy G. Biv. Red, green, blue. Red over green over blue. Universal is like a generalist. That's my little mnemonic. Combat is strong against speed, speed over blaster, blaster over combat, or red over green over blue. Roy G. Biv. Just like face and every good boy does fine that you learned in music in elementary school, and Roy G. Biv was red, green, blue, indigo, violet, like the colors of the spectrum. Are you having an art class flashback yet? So yeah, that's what you want to do in this game. If you have a hard mission that is giving you a lot of trouble, try to stack your deck with counter people. Kind of give you an example of that. Back over here at this Luke Cage one. If this was a really tough mission for me and I'm like, man, I can't beat that Luke Cage and, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
I'm going to stack my, stack my deck with a lot of blasters. The blue guys. Red over green over blue. So, this I'm probably going to ignore, but I can't totally ignore all of these combat guys. So, I would stack them with a lot of blasters. I may pick a blaster friend. So, I may bring this vision with me to help out. So, that's the next question. What's, what's the social nature of this game? How do I get friends and how do I get those deploys and everything that you've got? Well, pretty easy. You come over here and you hit friends. Once you log into Facebook, you can invite your Facebook friends, whether or not they're part of the game. The, the first little example list that they give you is really small. Just type in the name of a Facebook friend. You type in the Joe Bob Johnson, and you invite them. And then they'll become your friend, and you work up towards 10 Facebook friends, and then you collect this reward. Over here under game, this is where your friends are. Do your friends a favor and hit send all every time you can. This sends assemble points to your friends. This is your assemble points up here. Recommended is the game helping you be social, but in a very polite way. What's an impolite social game, you ask? Fucking Dragon City. Seriously, go play that game on Facebook. Dragon City wants you to invite everybody under God's green earth, including the Pope and President Obama, your dead great uncle's great grandmother from the Civil War, your cat, your cat's cat of a dog. I mean, everything in Dragon City is an invite. Like, if you fart, that game wants you to invite people. And 20 people at a clip. This game is really chill about it. It's like, hey, these people requested to be friends with you. Do you want to accept them, check them out, or deny them? I like to keep this list really trim and get rid of people who have not logged in on the level of days. Two days or more... I will get rid of them, especially if they are low level. Like, uh, three days ago, a level four crazy name. I'm going to deny this guy. He's going to be useless. So I'm going to try to favor recently logged in people with high levels, especially if it's a hero I don't have. Like, I don't have this Hawkeye. 16, five hours ago, I, I would accept that. Um... This daredevil, I'd accept that. If you know somebody's name, their game name, not their Facebook name, you can type it here. So, for example, if I type Ralphie, and by the way, this is a person. I don't know this person. I just used it as an example. I can invite Ralphie. Not going to. Eight days ago, whoever this person is. So, yeah, that's how you find people in this game. Increase your friends. Get your assemble points rolling. Uh, work towards this achievement, get those crystals, so on and so forth. So one of the other natures of this game, we, we've dealt with heroes and how to get them and why you're going to farm with them and parallels to other things that you farm. It, it's really a little bit harsh to be down on farming for a hero in this game when in Marvel Heroes you farm Eternity Splinters to get a hero. Marvel Avengers Alliance... You're farming for gear. You're farming for ISOs. Marvel Contest of Champions. You're farming arenas to get an arena crystal. You are um, logging in every day to get crystals. You're part of an alliance and you help people out. And you get the stupid juggernaut Colossus thing, which has got to be the most ridiculous looking hero that game has ever produced. Colossus in a juggernaut hat. I hate that thing. Looks awful. But um, this game... Has literally been throwing stuff at me all week. 150 crystals, 10k um, gold over here, these chests. I mean, this game really is not nickel and diming you. I've seen it throw a lot of stuff at me. Now, granted, ranking your heroes up and everything past a certain point does get really expensive. But... The game does throw a decent amount of gold at you. Like, I got 10k gold over there. This is only 5 for me to do that. So, pretty solid. It's not too bad. And what's kind of cool is that people have alternate suits. Just like Marvel Avengers Alliance. When you get Vision, he's a blaster. If you get the Age of Ultron suit, he becomes a generalist. Pretty handy. Sort of mixes things up a little bit. 
So if I go to him over here, I can go to uniform and I can downgrade him to his stock if I need a blaster. But you'll notice I have a little bit of a bonus over here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep him that way. And of course, you also have ISOs. This is more similar to the ISOs that we had in Marvel Avengers Alliance Tactics. They don't drop a whole lot. But you can even hit enhance and kind of rank up your ISOs a little bit. So the game's got a lot of depth. So there you guys go. I, I hope I enjoyed... You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I do. It is definitely a distant second behind Marvel Avengers Alliance, but to me, I have it ahead of Marvel Contest of Champions. Marvel Heroes, um, I would say it's just different. This is my mobile game when I'm away from the computer. Marvel Heroes is a pretty good game to play when I'm at the computer, and of course, Marvel Avengers Alliance, uh, by using Team Viewer, I can play anywhere. I don't have to worry about puffing. I just use Team Viewer to remote my PC, play it that way all day, every day while the energy's up. So, I, I hope I helped you guys out. I hope I showed you where you can farm for heroes, how you can farm for heroes. Uh, one of the things that I last want to touch on are rifts. So, if we come over here and look at my Loki, I have 6 out of 20 genetics for him. He drops in rifts. Rifts are these things that you find randomly while doing a mission. And if your friend gets one, you can get in on your friend's rift just like a group boss. The game's mechanics share a lot with Marvel Avengers Alliance if you just expand your brain a little bit and think about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Really, I do. I hope I shed some light on it. And, um... Again, this is on the Andy Android emulator on the PC, but you can play this game on any mobile device. And, uh, yeah. Take care, everybody. If you want me to join you in Marvel Future Fight, just give me your game name. I'll certainly add you. Take care.